Hey guys, Chuck here, KK6USY, Ham Radio Adventures. Hey, um, my good buddy, the Ham Radio Dude, if you guys don't know that guy, you must be living under a rock, but uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, check out his channel. He's a great channel, great guy. He uh, did a little challenge, a, uh, a Goodwill, make your own key from what you could find a Goodwill. Now, my Goodwill around here is not that great. Uh, it's, it's a little ways away from me, but uh, they usually don't have a whole lot of stuff in stock, especially lately. So I'm going to go around the house here and uh, and just see what I can find. It'll be out of scrap stuff, so nothing. Uh, anything I make will be out of uh, something I can find here. So the first box here, I know it's really sunny here. Let me see if, let me put this up and see if this helps. If I can not hit myself with it. Let's just see if this helps a little bit put it up a little ways here okay we'll put the stuff in the shade I see actually that may not be as good but we'll see so what I've got here is these little things yeah if, if I want if I you know like this if I wanted to work out yeah and work out my uh, my arms a little bit there my wrists and stuff uh, that might work but yeah we'll keep it in mind but let's see what else is in just a bag okay next box now, I know this box has some cool stuff in it that might work. Now, what I've got here is this is a speaker setup for a helmet. So there's a push to talk button in there. So I could use that, but that'd be almost be like cheating, you know? Holy cow. We're going to have to move over here a little bit because this is where my this is where my shade's going to be. All right, so that won't work. Uh, I won't mess this up. This is my A57 uh, separation kit. I'm not going to use that. Oh, oh, what do we have here? I knew this might be in there. Hey, I think we're going to set this aside. Piece of, uh, I bought this, and I'm going to show you guys this uh, one of these days. I've got a uh, halo antenna that I, that's what I bought this for, I think is what I bought this stuff for. So this aluminum. So we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, buy a charger. These are for, uh, yeah, they're for putting in a, a push-up pole that is bent that I don't really use. I got this Hustler thing. I don't want to, I'll keep that in mind. There's some stuff there. Screws. That's from a ram mount stuff. Yeah, that's for camera stuff there. Then I, I did have another bag here. Where'd it go? Well, let's, let's, let's put this one out. Let me put the lid back on top of this. See what's in here nothing goes right when you're in, in a hurry i don't have you know i'm really late on this i i apologize to my buddy ham radio dude because i didn't get this stuff done sooner yeah see this what, what this all this stuff here is this is <laughs> me unsoldering a bunch of stuff one day hey wait a minute now one of those one of those. I think these are heat sinks for these little transistors. That might work. I actually have another one here. This one looks a little bigger. Is it, is it bigger? Eh, I guess they're all the same size. Hope you guys can see all this in the shade here. I don't see anything else really. Yeah, I don't think that's anything good. But I got two of these. And these these are just extra parts. I'm not going to use them for anything else. So let's let's take let's take these. So there's two things. I will. Uh, I'm going to stop here. Start kind of planning this out. And it, this actually may be something I try to make that I can actually use. You know, out on the uh, out on the trail or something with my uh, KX3 or my KX2. Eh, God, I don't have a KX3. So I'll get back to you guys for now. Let's uh, just. Uh, see what I can come up with all right everybody now I am going to use this I'm going to cut this from the end here about two and a half inches it's an inch and a half this way so two and a half this way that'll give me some decent size and I can always cut it off a little bit later I'd rather have it just be a little bit big now those little metal pieces that I found they were yeah they're too stiff unless I was able to to do some some good machine work which that's not going to happen because I don't have the stuff to do that. But what I did find, now check this out. 
everybody should kind of under see what this is. This is a uh, hacksaw blade. Hacksaw blade is made to be springy. It doesn't really, I mean, you can bend it, but if you bend it too far, it'll just break because it's, see? So I'm gonna probably cut this. And what I'll have to do with this is cut this with a, uh, with a grinder. I, and I, I probably won't show that because it, it, it's just gonna make a lot of noise. On this, I think I'm just gonna see, I've got an old uh, uh, chop saw that I use that uh, a lot of times you can cut aluminum with a uh, carbide blade with a with a carbide uh, blade it doesn't usually hurt it too bad and the one I've got is just it's an old one that I don't I just use it for cutting up scrap wood so so let me try that and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at a good width to put two of these you know if I put these like this so they're going to stick out you know, this part, you have your two and a half here, and then this this piece will be back here, and it'll be a short piece. So it'll it'll probably stick out a couple inches, and that gives it a nice little bend there. And then I'll have a, and what I'll probably do is, is put a screw in here. I'll screw on the block in the back. Um, hopefully I can have enough to mess with the, where I can um, run like a quarter inch nut or maybe a, a, a number eight I, I have some number eights and uh, that might actually be better so let me cut this stuff i'm, I'm not going to show cutting it that's that's boring anyhow uh unless something happens which hopefully it won't <laughs> so here's what we got now there's my base i cut these little guys and i you know just so you guys know i did take their this is the blade side and it's pretty much gone i'll, I'll touch it up some more with a, uh, a nice fine file. So there's those parts. Okay, if you guys notice, these um, levers are not the, uh, the hacksaw blades. When I finally got the hacksaw blades kind of close to be mounted, they, were, they, were too, they weren't springy enough. They were a little bit too stiff. And so what I decided, and this is, uh, like I said, this is, this is a, um, a junk box uh, key, not really a goodwill key. And what I did was I had an old MFJ, cheap, like a really, it's a pretty cheap keyer. And this is the keyer, but I I messed around one day and I broke these off and I had re them on there and I, I never figured it would probably be the greatest um, reliability. So I went ahead and, and used those. So it's, you know, it's a little bit of a cheat and I and I admit it it's but the other thing is is I am actually going to use this gear so <laughs> I don't feel so bad about it but then I've got my little block here that it's going to bolt to right in this area here I'll probably could probably be a bolt here coming up and then I'll probably try to put two small bolts in here it oh, already works okay that's where we're at I actually forgot to record this part. I, I put this together and I soldered all the parts on here. Sorry about that. Sorry you missed all the soldering, but uh, typical solder job. I mean, it's super small wire. It's hard to uh, actually play with. So I, I got I got into that and forgot to record it. So basically, and then here's the other part. My, my plan was to have two holes, but... Uh, you know, sometimes poor planning, and this was kind of poor planning because I did this really quick trying to get this up, uh, and I didn't have enough room for the screw heads. I would probably, when I rebuild this, if I do rebuild it, I'll probably use smaller screws. I meant to, and then I then I drilled the wrong size hole. I was I was really hurrying. This only took me like an hour, a little over an hour, maybe an hour and a half to make totally to put it together to where it was working. And I put the feet on the bottom because that because what I'd probably do with with this next time is is put a hole in there a little deeper so this would be flush or at least close to flush. And right now I don't I had to run, use this washer because um, I can <laughs> I could only tap it so far with a bolt. So here we go. So what's going to happen is basically this is going to have to stay in the middle here. In this piece was, that was part of the uh, MFJ also. So let me just kind of get it started. Let me see. Yeah, I think you guys can see that. And same here. This screw was, 
it's kind of an odd, I don't even know what size it is. Um, and I threaded this with a, with a bolt and I ended up breaking one bolt. And luckily it was a long one, so I was able to get it out. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. I'm going to come over to the back side here, get my screw, get it started. Sorry, I'm doing all this with just my little uh, DJI camera too. I, I didn't, we're not, I didn't go all out on this. I wanted to get it up quick because I was late in the first place. So that's, that's and the thing on here too is you gotta gotta get this kind of in the middle. And my screw's crooked. I, I will, I will when I make this final build. I will get in there and uh, make it just a little nicer, a little more accurate. There, it looks like a good spot right there. I may have to go off camera to finish tightening this because I don't think I can get it all on the screen. But anyhow, I like these little Allen heads. They're little button heads. They're they're nice. Actually, that's probably good. It went in better that time, to tell you the truth. Then it kind of leaves me a little bit of adjustment there. Yeah, that looks like that'll work. Sorry I didn't get everything, but this these were already made. And I took it off to reroute it differently and resoldered it. And then there's just two screws going through the back here. And I, I ran one, 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 one the other. And it actually, it's, it's a pretty good spot to hold for keying. Okay, guys, there it is. I'm going to uh, just show that it actually works. Um, I really actually like this thing. It's probably going to go in my uh, Elecraft bag once I learn how to uh, actually do CW, hopefully one of these days. So let's just try it out and make sure she works. That's the best I can do. So, the only thing I would say for an experienced uh, CW operator, and I can fix this still, This um, these screws here are a little bit too far away if you look. It's quite a reach. Works good for me because I'm, uh, I'm new at this and it actually makes it fairly easy for me. But I'll tell you what, when you when you just hold this thing about like, just like that, it's, it's actually really comfortable to use, so. Eh, not bad for a first try. Okay, guys, uh, in the studio, <laughs> studio. Um, so while I w I feel that I was in the spirit of the build, I didn't really follow the uh, the directions. So I'm not going to take any of the if, you know I'm not going to take any of the prize money or anything like that. Oh wait a minute, I don't think there was any. <laughs> oh well. So it, the ham radio dude is is going to do a few more of these. And next time, hopefully, we'll have a little more time and it won't be in the middle of doing the ham fest and stuff like that. I was, I, I really kind of concentrated on that since that was my first time. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, hopefully you got something out of it. So if you did, hit that like button. And also, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Uh, 73 all and hope to get you on the airways. Be safe.